to preschool. Anyways, Bloodmore. Okay, first section of the game. The major things that you want to learn is a map, uh, like, say you start a fresh character. By the way, I do have a modded character that I pretty much can't die and it can one-shot everything. That is so I can, you know, do this freaking map tutorial. Here we go. So, what you do is you, there are paths in the Bloodmore. Okay, one of them leads to the Cold Plains and the other one leaves, leads to the Den of Evil. So, um, you just follow the path pretty much. Follow the path. There you go. And usually with Den of Evil, it'll do like a windy, like, curve in the, in the trail before it hits the den. That's usually what happens. Okay. And there's also something else you need to understand. Okay. Um, I was thinking about, maybe we'll do this in a separate video. I don't know. I guess we could just do this right now. But like... Something you need to understand about Act 1 maps, okay? The outside areas like this, right? What you need to understand is they're all big squares or rectangles, okay? Act 1, let's just teleport around. I got 200 FCR breakpoint on this thing. So, this one's like, because it's a river map, it's like more of a rectangle shape. What you need to learn is uh they're all squares or rectangles the whole map so this is the bloodmore square rectangle and because of that river it's extended a little bit farther than it would normally be so as you can see the path you follow the path you get den of evil does a little squiggly near the den of evil on the path and then you keep following and you'll get to the cold plains. Now, any exit... I'll, I'll actually get to this in the next section. And you got a uh, Flavi. So, there you go. And there's always in the cold plains, always, every single time, the cold plains is somewhere near the, uh, the entrance. So it's like, you, right as soon as you get in the cold plains, always look for the waypoint. It's gonna be really close. So next thing you need to know is in the Cold Plains, there are three different areas now. There's the Cave Level 1, there's the Stony Field, and then there's also the Burial Grounds, okay? Now, remember how the map is like a square, okay? Um, there can only be one exit on the map, or one exit per side of the square, which means three things are taken up, okay? There is, uh, there's one side, like, say for example, right, there's the, the cave somewhere in the middle of the map, somewhere in the square, okay, and then there's also, you know, the stony field, which this is the stony field, and I'll tell you why I know that in a second, that's the stony field, yep. Now these squares, and that's the burial grounds. Now these squares, the thing is, like, you know, there'll be little chunks taken out of them here and there, right? Like, it's not a perfect, it, it is a perfect square if you, like, you know, imagine that there's a square here. So they're all squares, sometimes they get little chunks out of them, sometimes you gotta run around. But if you think about it, about it as just a square. So, the paths in Act 1 are your friend, like I was saying, just in the Bloodmore. Uh, major things you want to know are when you have an exit, it's going to be towards the center, okay? F roughly around the center of the uh, the side, okay? So if we take this from this edge to that edge, you know, cut that in half. Center is roughly here, right? It's roughly here. And Stony Field right here, roughly there. So that'll be your exit to Stony Field, 100%. Um, the only thing is when you come across the burial grounds, right? This one's not halfway, right? This one's not halfway. This is because this is for a quest. This is for a quest, which means it can do a little wonky stuff. Um, so this one's not in the middle. This would be the middle, roughly. And I can tell that that's the burial grounds because it's towards the corner of the map. Again, think of it as a big freaking square. And then also, you know... Just like I was talking about with the, uh, 
the den of evil once you come across like a little squiggly in the map that's usually the cave so i'm guessing the cave is somewhere around here there we go see the little squiggly in the map right here that means the cave is nearby so that's something else we have all the paths lead to certain exits right so normally what you would do is just like uh oh yeah also bishy bosh will be around here somewhere near camp he's the orange shaman guaranteed to be in the uh in the cold plains so let me show you real quick again towards the corner is going to be the burial grounds so if you like you know if you don't want to go run down all this way you can run over here to check the, the corner it'll fill out and be like oh that's a corner i don't want to go to burial grounds or you do want to go to burial grounds now do what you got to do man um so yeah again then you find this is pretty much a static map you know it doesn't matter a whole lot um, i don't know too much about these individual areas you know mausoleum 85 area you could farm here but we're not talking about farming in mf this time um, then you got the crypt, 83 area. You know, not really crazy. Blood Raven, you know, you got Blood Raven. So, anyways, this isn't a, this isn't a tutorial about uh about like you know MF and various things like that. So there's the Stony Fields. Um, because I already did the quests, and this can be helpful if you do trust runs on your early game, right? Want to do trust runs with your friends. Um, you just run, ac uh, run across the path, right? The path is your friend. So, if you want to find the stones, run back and forth on the, uh, on the path. And sometimes you actually find the waypoint. Waypoints are entirely random here. There are certain things you can kind of like, you know, figure out, but it's mostly just you got to play some and you got to get some experience. Um, stones though, like I said, right off the path, one way or another, you keep following that, and eventually you'll come across, like, the cave, either the cave will be in the ground, or it'll go against, like, the cave wall, right? There you go, there's the cave wall, for example, to the underground passage, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, if you're doing, like, Trist runs or something, look for the yellow, yellow portal, man. You just go back and forth on the uh, on the path and look for that yellow portal sign. That's pretty much all you need to know about this. Now we'll move on to uh, and again this is a square actually. I'll, we can just you know fill it out. I'll show you one more time. This is pretty much just a big square. All the Act One maps that are outside like this. See? Square! Okay, there you go. So now the underground passage. Okay, now this is where we can get into some uh, terminology, which you may or may not already know. Now there are terms that I'm gonna, gonna be calling straight, left, right, you know, backwards, and things like that. That is like... Um, that's like important. Oh my god. Okay, let's clear out these dudes. Leave me alone, game! Okay. So. First things you need to know about caves. Okay, so like, just like the outside has a certain, um, setup or block implementation, you know, like squares and then rectangles and stuff like that. Caves have like chunks of, uh, like tiles. Okay. Um, so there's entrance tile and there's an exit tile and various things like that um important thing to know is there are only so many i don't actually remember how many entrance blocks there are but this entire thing right here is an entrance block okay now what's very important about learning these entrance blocks and various things like that are traveling or the what the direction you're you're going when you're leaving okay and why is that important because your character is facing a certain direction and that direction is how we find the exit so for example 
say, I'm walking this way, right? I'm walking this way. To to go to a to leave the entrance block. That way is straight, okay? And now to find the dark wood from the underground passage, you need to go straight. This is right. This is left. Okay. That's backwards. This is straight. So what we need to do is just go straight. Now Sometimes it'll force you in weird directions with the map and you know, I'm still learning. I'm not pro at this, but But essentially you just want to go straight through the map anytime that you can go right. I believe you go right um, If you're not allowed to go straight essentially because I believe left is towards the underground passage level 2 An underground passage level 2 is static I believe There you go. So, and you can memorize the uh, the certain blocks. You can like run through these maps over and over again, and just memorize the block patterns. That was actually a relatively large underground passage. So again, this is an entrance block. You want to go straight. This was a dead end. I knew not to go left because that's towards the underground passage level two. So I didn't take those. I didn't go right here because this is straight. You just want to continue to go straight. And then I just kept following and went straight. So just go straight through the blocks. Essentially. And that's how you get through the underground passage. Now the dark wood. Okay. There's a couple things I can mention right here right off the bat. So if the underground passage exit uh, into the dark wood is in the middle not like against the wall like it was in uh stony fields you know against like a rocky wall or whatever if it's like this in the center of the map somewhere the black marsh is always on the top left okay it is always on the top left so if you want you can follow the path right that's the that's what will leave you to vic lead you to victory or you can just because i said it was top left you know just roughly follow the path and the exits top left. Always every freaking time. Every time, man. And that's only... That is only if the underground passage is in like the center of the map. Okay? Not against like the wall or something. Or anything like that. So, also there's another thing you want to know is the waypoints placed random. The, uh, the tree is here as well. That's placed random. So you're going to have to do a little bit of searching around. Um, you know, again, guys, if you know any other tips or anything like that about these that maybe I could learn or you guys could learn from, please feel free to leave a, to leave a comment. So there's the tree guy. He's always, he's always like tree, uh, tree head wood fist. That's his name. He's always around the tree with minions. He's extra strong and extra fast. He's always scary, even in normal. Um, and then that guy will drop the, the scroll. That's how you save Kane, as I'm sure you all know. So again, actually, I could just find the waypoint real quick. It's pretty, you know, it, that was kind of just lucky. I kind of knew where to guess because it filled out most of the map. So I was like, all right, probably down here. So there's like, there's waypoint blocks in the dark wood. There's the, you know, the tree block that's in the dark wood as well. There's like various things like that. Also, these are kind of like panels. You see how there's like a cluster of trees here. These are like small panels. Okay. And then we got Black Marsh. And again, that's a big square, guys. The, any of the outside maps are big squares. So we got Black Marsh here. This is a square. Again, if you follow this path, it leads to... Uh, two places there's two different places it can lead you one of them is the whole uh level one and the, the other one is uh towards tomo highland which is generally where you want to go if you want to continue on um i can also talk about the black marsh real quick um about tower finding the tower and things like that you want to know so again this is 100 percent Again, it's roughly in the middle of the, uh, of the side. 
which means that's an exit. That's definitely Tomo Island. And obviously, like, there's only one exit, so it's Tomo Island. In this way, uh, the monastery gate is always facing the northeast of your screen. And when I use compass terms, that means towards, like, you know, your Diablo screen, what you're viewing. So this, you can always follow the path that way. There's also the pit level one. And that's, that place is good for farming. Again, just like I taught you before about um, paths, you know, just follow the path. The path is your friend. When you're coming across a cave, it does a little squiggly before it goes in. So if you can keep an eye out for that, it'll help you out. That chest is guaranteed. Hype. Okay, and then uh, I guess I shouldn't move on too much. I'll, I'll, I'll move on to the uh, monastery gate and outer cloister and stuff like that after we talk about Black Marsh a little bit more. So, something that you really want to do is... Hold on. Distracting! Distracting! Oh man, they're like all lightning moon. Let me kill these guys. Okay. We're good. We're not- oh my gosh, dude. Tutorial destruction. Okay. So, again, a square. What you want to do when you find the waypoint is always search around the perimeter, okay? There's the tower right there. I can see that already. Um, search... Where's the waypoint? Show me the waypoint, game. And the waypoint can be random again. It's got that waypoint block again recognize it by you know the torches maybe you'll see a shadow like this something really small and be like oh there's there's the waypoint you know another torch here stuff like that that can clue you to finding the uh the waypoint so when you teleport to the waypoint for example right you go from town it's like oh i want to farm tower right um what you're going to want to do is actually travel around the perimeter of the map first that's the first thing you want to do that's your priority don't travel too close to the edge you kind of want to be a little bit far away from the edge and you just go around the perimeter of the map and the perimeter of like any internal island you just don't want to be too close so we already know where the tower is and uh you know i'll just reset the map real quick Um, just to show you So There's also a river that can happen as well, but we'll talk about that if it if it happens essentially You know the river makes it just more difficult Show the way to act one. Oh my god, dude. Yes Anyways, so what we want to do first is find an edge of the map and that could have been an edge of a map But the way it looked I was like it could be an island as well So, again, Act 1, outside maps are squares. Just just uh, go around the perimeter of the map. Don't be too close. That's to Moe Highland or Darkwood because we don't have directions yet. And there you go. There it is, man. Like I said, don't, do, don't go too close. That way it'll, you'll be able to pick it up. Um, also, like, okay, if it doesn't happen... Like, if you go around the whole perimeter and you can't find it, now check the internal perimeter. And if that doesn't happen, okay, find the whole level 1. And it's usually around the whole level 1. Like, above it, below it, to the side. And if that doesn't work, on very, very rare occasions that doesn't work, it's usually along the path. But, that's pretty much how it goes. And then we'll go into the tower. Might as well talk about the tower as well. I have a video online about this, but... Might as well go through it again. Uh, again, we're going to need to talk about those directions. So, now, when you enter, right, your character's like facing this direction. But that's not what we want to talk about. This is a block. We want, we want to think of everything as, you know, blocks. So, this is an entrance block and it ends like right here with that doorway. So, which way is that facing when you exit that entrance block? You're facing this way. Which means this way is straight okay now what you want to do in the tower is you want to go left so you continue on 
and you go left. As any opportunity you can, you just like keep going towards the northwest direction in this scenario. So left, bam, there it is. Now there can be backwards maps when in any direction like this that I say, um, it just means it's a predetermined exit and a predetermined entrance. So, you know, when you enter, well, that's your entrance block. When you exit, because you know what your entrance block looks like, you know what your exit block looks like. Things like that. Um, so which means it's facing left. It can be like down here, it can be a backwards map, it can be over here. Three rights do make a left, and the game does count that as well. But just know that, you know, if you just keep going left, that's your best bet at first. And, you know... Just, uh, just know that it's facing that direction at, at the very least. Find the hole. Dude, how's it going, DQ? Dude, Halibel, dude. Two months in a freaking row. Thank you very much, my dude. You legend. Thank you, man. The way to act one. Oh, man. That sounds... All right, so again, level two, you gotta go left. Gotta go left, man. So there you go. There's left. There's left. Keep going with left. Now it could be up here, but it could down also be down there. Okay, so we're gonna try up here then. I'm just showing you examples. There you go. A little bit of a longer map, but you get you get the picture. I hope. Then you keep going left. There's another one. Left. See what I'm saying, guys? And there's two different map layouts, okay? There's two different map layouts of the tower. And there are ways to decide where the count is spawns. I'm not entirely familiar with that. There are there are ways to actually, you know, manipulate the count of spawns when you walk in. Like, depending on which door you choose. Like, there are ways to manipulate it, whether she's outside the door, or inside her room, or all that stuff, man. So, there are ways to manipulate that. I'm not familiar with how, but that is a thing. So, you know, Countess is always here. She's always, you know, in hell, she's always cold immune, and uh, fire immune, sometimes lightning enchanted, but anyways. So... That was, uh, that's the tower. We can move on from that then. So again, there's Tomo Highland. Right. Tomo Highland, you just keep following the path. Now we know that the Monastery Gate is going to be the northeast direction. However, we got to step forward a little bit. Otherwise, we're just going to probably hit a wall over here. See what I'm saying? So, it's kind of like centered north. Just go north. How about north, northeast? There you go. That's the direction you want to go in the scenario. And then there's your there's your little squiggly in the map for uh, for the pit and the hole and all the uh, different things like that. But yeah, that's the that's the beginning stages of Act One. We're gonna continue on to like the outer cloister, the barracks, and all those various things like this right now. So, there are things you need to know about this, okay? This whole thing right here. Right? This whole thing. The waypoint placement and the statue. Tell you exactly where the barracks actually is, okay? Um, if there is a cross in the center, the most common one is there. there's a cross in the center. And there's like the waypoint on the other side of the cross. Like roughly right here so if that's the case then the barracks is this way but it's not this time the barracks is actually uh the opposite side of which the waypoint is on from the statue's perspective okay so what that means is if the waypoint's right here on the right side that means the barracks is on the left if the waypoint's on the left side which can be right here and statue's here then the barracks is on the right. And again, like I said, if there's a cross here with the waypoint, then we know to go straight. 
So that's how you do it. Taking notes, pop quiz in 20 minutes. Yeah, dude. Did you just talk? <laughs> yeah, you walked into Diablo school. Yep. Professor Neanderthal. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Mapping 101. Yep. So there's other things you need to know about this. We already went through uh, all these sections. We went through that. Okay. So now barracks. Okay. When you're talking about the barracks, there are... Our... Hold on. Let me just kill these things so we can be in peace. Be in peace, Neanderthal. By slaying other monsters, because that's peaceful. Okay. So, now we're going to want is, okay, this again, we're going to be talking about blocks, okay? This way is straight. Okay, this way is straight. Northwest in this scenario is this is straight because this is a block right this is the entrance block in order to exit the entrance block you are facing this way it's locked. so which means that is straight so left and straight both have different things left and straight can be either or uh, of the exit to jail level one or the entrance to jail level one I guess uh, or the the hammer, the Haradra hammer with the smith and all that stuff. So it could be either or. They swap. So if you find one, you know where the other one is. If uh, the hammer's straight, then you know the jail is left. If the jail is le if the uh, the hammer's left, then you know the the exit's straight. Okay. Those are uh, other tips here. So sometimes it will force you to go force you to go right. That's okay. This way, okay, so the hammer was left, as you can see. Hammer's left, which means the jail is straight. And obviously we can't teleport through a wall. Or can we? Sometimes we can. So in this scenario, straight is still towards the northwest. And there you go. There's the, there's the exit. Or entrance to jail level 1. And that's how you find that. Uh, I could show you another one real quick. Uh, okay, so here's actually another example. There's the cross I was talking about. Right? So, with the cross, we know where the exit is. It is northeast. So, again, either straight or left. Those are two different options. If we go left here, it's like, okay. Making a choice, going left, continuing to go left. We don't really want to go back here because we'd have no reason yet. Okay, there's the hammer. Again, hammer was left this time. Now we can continue on just to go straight this way. And the exit will be somewhere. There it is. Straight. That's the exit. And like I said, they can swap. Okay. And any of these things when I'm talking about, you know, entrance blocks and exit blocks, you can learn any of these. Okay. You can learn the way that this, uh, let's put it over here in the dark or something. You can learn the way that this area looks, okay? You can learn that, okay, exit or the entrance to jail level one looks like this. So you can study that and be like, okay, if I find, you know, a small portion of it, you know, it does some weird funky stuff. It runs, you run by it and you see a small corner that looks like this. It's like, whoa, that's the entrance. Like, you can teleport across, or you don't have to continue searching, because you know where it is. Once you recognize them, then, you know, that's the way it is. And that is depend- that does depend on the direction. Okay, so see how- see how this one is kind of like, you know, the double wall right here. Like, kind of a square within a square. And this one has, you know, to the left a little bit. And it has uh, a door- a door there. With the Roderick Malice right there and a well usually there. Uh, we'll show you another example. Oopsies. Okay, again, this is top left. So left and straight again. Okay, so see, it was different from the double wall this time, right? It was different than the first one that we showed that kind of had like a 
a rectangle. It was facing the northwest and had like a rectangle and a smaller rectangle in it. This one's different again. And this is because uh, each exit block, depending on where it is, changes its actual look. So if it's on the right, you know, it'll it'll look like, you know, that double wall one. If it's on the top left, it'll look like that rectangle within rectangle thing. And if it's on the left here, it'll just be super simple. Kind of like a, an expanding rectangle, I guess you could say. And then again, just for, for the kicks, man. There's my boy, the Smith, straight. Now there's some, there's a few things we could talk about the jail now. So hopefully you understand that. Um, we can talk about the jail. So jail level one, okay. Uh, the waypoint is to the left, okay, and the jail level two is straight. Now jail can be a little funky because, you know, it's the freaking jail. So, <laughs> um, again, this is about blocks again. So where, which way do you look when you exit? This way is straight. Okay, this way is straight. So which means this way is going to be jail level two. I mean, it could be over here. It could be over here, but the it's definitely going to be facing that way. The jail level one, let's go find the waypoint. Like I said, it's gonna be to the left. So I'm just gonna try to go to left here. And these are, there are common patterns. You can learn, you know, however much you wanna learn, You there's always more to learn, okay? Um, like for example, this is a very common area or a very common pattern. You know, you walk through this lower door and you know, it has like a little zigzag and there's a left door. It's very common. So you can learn the individual blocks if you really want to. That's up to you. Spend the time you want on it. And uh, there's definitely knowledge to be learned if you want it. Um, so it, again, Continue that left direction. Now this map is being a little bit tricky. So this was just a big dead end. And that can totally happen. That can totally happen. And not break the rules. I personally think that the waypoints right here, right now, just thinking about it, doesn't mean it is, but I think it is. Okay, there we go. And that's just from, you know, again, left, right? Waypoint is left. There's all these weird stuff back here. But this is still technically left. So there's the waypoint. And now if you were to like, you know, just go to the jail, right? You didn't have any maps and you just went to the jail. This way is, uh, is left. So left of the waypoint is jail level two, right of the waypoint is jail level one, you know, just from perspective. And again, there you go. Straight jail level two. So again, jail level two. This way, I believe it's left. I'm derping, wait, I'm derping on it right now. No, this is straight, this is straight. This is, this is straight, I'm pretty sure. We'll be able to tell in a moment anyways. Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, it is straight. Jail level two is straight, okay. I derped for a second there, don't mind me. So, Again, in order to go straight, or in, in order to determine direction, you know, which way are you exiting when you're exiting that block. And this way, this is the correct way. So again, you just go straight when you can. See again that common pattern again, the zigzag with the doors, the triple doors. You know, and you could have, you could go up here, all that stuff. And it's like, oh, finding dead ends. And then you're like, okay, I recognize these patterns, these blocks. Uh, there's secret rooms. There's actually two secret rooms here. There's a secret room here. And this was a secret room as well. Um, and then also like, I believe you can determine the boss as well. Like there's also, um, what's his fit name? Pit spawn, this guy. I think he's always left, but I'm not sure. You would have to test that out. I think pit spawns on the left. 
So if this is left, this is pit spawn. I'm pretty sure. I, I, you would have to test that yourself, but I think he's on the left. If you wanted to farm pit spawn for some reason. I've heard he drops burr runes, but I don't know, dude. Again, this is just a map tutorial. Uh, so. This guy, man. This guy is a little complicated, right? This one, you might be like, oh, this is just a really small block. No, this whole thing right here is actually a bigger block. Okay, from here to here, this whole thing is a block. So, this is straight. Now, the correct direction you want to go from jail level 3 to find the inner cloister is actually left. So, again, you this is straight again. So you just want to go left when you can. Okay, dead end. See how it's still continuing to go left? You could teleport across. We're just going to walk through. You know, it can be a little funky sometimes. There it is. Okay, and then you can recognize these maps, right? Again, like I said earlier, you can just memorize the entrance blocks, memorize the exit blocks. Here's the inner cloister. This place is always... It always looks the same. There's not too much about it. You know, the, the catacombs level 1 is always the same thing. In the same area. We always got bone ash there. Sometimes we got some packs back here. Sometimes down here. Various things like that. That body's always there. The one that was there before. Um, which is something interesting. Uh, there also used to be, you know, I guess we could talk about history lessons for a second. There used to be a, a quill rat, I'm pretty sure it was here, that like, you know, just murdered you. I forget his name. Some of you guys, some of you guys, like OG guys probably know the name. Um, so, let me show you again one more time the, uh, jail level 3, inner cloister, those two things. Uh, well, I guess we'll just start from jail level 1. So again, we want to go left here to find jail level 2. And we're going to turn left as much as we can. Sometimes the map forces you in certain directions, that's okay. And we got that recognition, right? That recognition of the way the map looks on jail level 2. And I'm like, okay, there it is. You know, I could teleport across. And jail level 2, you go straight across, right? Uh, you just kind of have to guess here. It's like, is it up there? Probably not, considering, you know, that's probably a dead end. And it's like, you continue going straight. There it is. Um, then we're at jail level 3 again, okay? This is going to be a different direction. Each exit and entrance looks a little bit different. Like I was saying earlier. So... Continue going left. This one has two doors. The one that's in the northwest has two doors. The one in the southwest has like that one little rectangle. It's kind of in the middle. So that's that. And then that guy's always there. So let's uh let's head into the catacombs a little bit. This place. Honestly, catacombs level one. It takes experience. It really does, dude. Um, the more you play, the more you'll start recognizing, you know, certain blocks and where they might lead and things like that. It is entirely random. It is random, but there are things you can do to help you move closer to the next step. So, you know, the fastest thing to do is immediately, you know, just go bottom left, right? You can try to find it and, you know, it's not there. So. It might take you a little while to find it. Again, you can memorize the way the exit block looks and stuff like that. So, you can be like, okay, if I if I see it, then I'm like, okay, there it is. And it's, you know, sometimes dangerous. We got little ratmen on here. Ratmen are dangerous, guys. Careful. And I can tell you right now, Bam, there it is. You know, you recognize some things. It takes, honestly, it's just, you know, sometimes you gotta get lucky, sometimes it'll help. You don't have to, you know, 100% fill out the map. Now this place, okay, now if it's your first, like, run through, 
I highly recommend, okay, if you don't have the waypoint yet, throw a TP down. Yo, dude, WTDN, thank you so much for the host, my dude. You're a legend. You beast. We're doing a tutorial right now. I hope your stream was fantastic, my dude. Um, so, immediately, just put a portal down. You know, if it's your first run through, like, in normal or whatever. It's super helpful. The reason being is because from the entrance, we actually can't tell where level 3 is. But from the waypoint, we can. Okay, so you put that town portal down right near the entrance. And you try try to find the, the uh, catacombs level 3. But if you find the waypoint for first, then you can tell where level 3 is. So we're just gonna go on a little little journey here. Rip. Okay, it's not that way. Not that way. This, again, just finding it for the first time, it does take, like, some experience. This is just random again. Until you find the waypoint. Once you find the waypoint, then you know where you're gone. Wow, this map is pretty bad. Pretty bad. We just went, like, such a false end. Such a false exit, man. So everything's probably down on this section then. Um, so, what do we find here first? We found the catacombs. Now, because we left that waypoint open, we can make a decision and be like, is it faster to go through the waypoint? Or uh, is it faster just, you know, backtrack or just go through the catacombs TP? And that's up to you to decide. But you know, it's just a good idea, just in case the uh you find the waypoints like super far away and then you know it's like i don't want to walk that whole distance well you got a tp there you know just backup stuff just tips and tricks um so now this is where we talk about the waypoint and the exit so level three is to the right of the waypoint in catacombs level two i know some of you probably already know that from asking me or talking to other people before because I talk about farming routes and various things like that. Tips and tricks in farming. Um, so, you gotta take a right from the waypoint. This place, right here, is the, uh, the end of the block. Okay? So, it looks like, okay, is this straight, BT? Is this straight? No, this is not straight. This is actually straight. In this scenario. So, some of the maps, you kind of have to, like... You know, some of them have smaller blocks, bigger blocks. Um, you have to realize what block we're actually dealing with. In this scenario, this is straight. Okay, just got to take my word for it. Which means this is right. Which means uh, just by this looking out, like looking at this already, this like, I'm 99% sure that this is actually the Catacombs Level 3. So, there we go. Catacombs level 3. Again, nice little simple right. Everything other than that is just random. You know, it just takes experience. Unfortunately, my experience does not help me. You know, I just 100%ed the map. Um, but this one's pretty easy too. Entirely random again, just like Catacombs level 1, unfortunately. So, again, try to, you know, recognize patterns if you want. Spend as much time or as little time as you want trying to learn the maps. Uh, and the different types of blocks in the game. But this place is entirely random again. There are no tricks. So, rip. You kind of just have to do a little bit of running around. The good old opening doors, searching, hopefully not dying type of tactics. I knew that's a dead end because there's champion pack. You know, I... I know some things about these random maps. And there you go. Look at this weird map, dude. If only I knew, like, if only, like, I just went in here and be like, oh, I know this map. Bam. You know, you just go in here and it's one teleport away. It's all set. And then we got, like, Catacombs level 4. This place, always the same, dude. Always the same. The only thing I could say about a tip and trick about this area are their doors, okay? Now say there's packs, okay? Say there's packs you really don't want to fight. 
if I can open the door. Holy crap, this character runs so fast. Right? This big door? They can't open this. They can't open this big door. But you can. So, say there's a bunch of bunch of packs that like you really hate in this area and you don't want to fight with Indariel. You open the door and uh, you know, obviously, you know, you kite them in. Right, you kite them in. No if you have telekinesis, oh, stop. Thank you very much. See you good for the donation. You legend. Thank you very much, my dude. Um, so again, you can either telekinesis if you're a sorceress, or you can run really quickly. Up, oh, block door. You know, it can be an issue. It can be tough at times, but you can technically close the door. There's actually a lot of mobs here. But having issues freaking but anyways you can close the door you have to take my word for it i'm having the hardest time with this door right now it actually might be glitched right now maybe i broke it i think i broke the door guys i think i actually broke the door is it the bulge like in the way or something i don't know i broke the door but anyways you can usually kite mobs in if you want to and uh you know close the door behind them so that's what you do Anyways, and then Andy's up here. You know, you can uh, you can do all sorts of tricks with Andy, to be honest. You can just run around. Run around, the ring around the rosy, depending on which skill you got. You can lay it down or whatever. You know, there's, there's all sorts of things. One thing I might recommend is, you know, try to kill the shamans. So they're not rezzing everything. And there's also another thing that I could give you for a tip. Is Questy and uh not Questy Andy Quest Bug Questy Andy Bug what? Um, and this is actually like pretty simple. The only thing you really need to do some there's there's a lot of different methods out there. The only thing you really have to do you boil it down. Your first time killing Andy will give you better drops. Um, the Quest Bug, which we call it. All you have to do is go back to town, whether it's through the Andy portal or through your own portal, does not matter, or friend's portal, whatever. It does not matter. The thing that matters is you only talk to Warov and you travel east. After that, you are Andy bugged. It is permanent on that character. You only get one chance. Don't miss it. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. And what that means is you get, I mean, I'm going to throw a random number out there just to show an example, but you get like four times better loot you know, roughly, or it's not hard. If you talk to Kane after you go through, like you kill Andy, you go right here and you talk to Kane like, oh, ID my items. Uh, I'm going to go sell to Akara. You effed it up, man. You broke it. You freaking broke it. And there is no hope for you, my friend, other than making a new character. So don't eff it up, man. Uh, so you just got to talk to, talk to Worv, go east. You're all set. Done. That's it. You don't have to quit. You don't have to quit after. You don't have to leave party. You could, but it doesn't do anything. It's already done. Quest bug is done. So, just travel east and only talk to Warv at that time. So that's our Act 1 tutorial. Um, I think I pretty much covered everything, like, as far as Act 1 goes, or at least the things that I want to talk about. I mean, Tristram, we could go into Tristram, I guess, real quick and talk about Tristram. The caves, like I was saying, you know, all the caves want to fire a particular cave, like cave level one or something for some reason. You know, they all have blocks. They all have, usually, pretty sure they all have static level two maps. You know, let's go into Tristram real quick. Rackney Shoes always next to Tristram. Uh, tips about Tristram map, you know, there's usually packs along this side if you want to kill packs. Uh, Griswold can be any one of these corners or one of these areas. It can be even in the house sometimes. Kane's in the center. You know, if save that dude, if you really want to save that dude. Let's talk about Griswold. Yeah, dude. Wurt's leg in the top left. Water over here. You know, I mean, there's not too much to talk about this. Um, pretty simple map. If you hit the cow, it can hurt, you know, pretty much like that. Don't touch dead cows, man. It's a bad idea. Really bad idea. Maggots, poisoning, danger. 
Um, is there anything else you guys have for questions on Act 1 specifically? Um, before we like end the section and maybe just go into a casual something. I eat dead cows. Well, I mean if you cook them first, right? Don't forget about Wurt's leg, it's in Tristram. Alright. Well, Cold Plains, we talked about Cold Plains. Stonyfield, we talked about that. Again, these sections, just remember, they're all squares. Okay, big squares. And you can learn that stuff. Outer Cloister. Dude, wherever the barracks is, is dependent on what's right here. Okay, that cross means it's top left, top right rather, northeast. Um, jail, dude. Like, it's not too bad. We already talked about that. The body that chills there. We talked about bone ash too. Catacombs, we talked about that. Well, I think that's gonna do it. So, uh... I hope you enjoyed the first section. We're gonna try to make this a series. We're gonna go through every act. Some of them are easier than others. Act 2 is actually relatively easy. But, um... Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to leave a comment and a rating. I would greatly appreciate that. Let me know if there's any tips or tricks that you might have or that I might have missed or that you want to hear about. I can try to look it up and uh, make another video about it. Thank you guys. Love you guys. You beasts. Alrighty. There we go. At the 108 mark. We're going to write that down.